What's up guys? I'm gonna give you three epic plants to put in your landscape if you want butterflies to swarm to your garden. Let's go. So why are butterflies attracted to some plants more than others? There are a few different factors, but first and foremost, the nectar from that flower has to be part of the butterfly's diet. That's probably the most obvious. Secondly, the shrub is typically a more profusely blooming plant where the flowers are clustered together so the butterflies can easily jump around from one flower to the next as sort of a, an energy conservation, if you will. So there is an efficiency factor to which plants they will go after. Now, a good butterfly garden is also sheltered from windy conditions and it just has to give the butterfly a nice environment to feel safe and flying around from one shrub to the next. Butterflies are also somewhat particular in where they lay their eggs. So again, it has to be that protected environment where they feel safe, where they can reproduce. And there is so much information out there that you can research. But now let's take a look at some of the more popular butterfly attracting plants. All right. The first one is super obvious. It is Budlia, commonly known as butterfly bush. It has these gorgeous cone-shaped blooms that appear in spring and will last for a few months. So you get a pretty good bloom period with Budlia. And you can see that it's kind of a, a lilac color. And there are several varieties of Budlia. Some have darker, more rich colored blooms. Some are lighter blooms. There are different sizes of Budlia as well. Some more compact, some that will reach pretty tall up to about 10, even 12 feet or so, but they all will attract butterflies and they will swarm to this bush. Butterflies love the butterfly bush, go figure, right? And besides the fact that it attracts butterflies, it's also beautiful. This is a great, plant for the landscape. It's drought tolerant and will just provide beautiful visual interest when this flowers. All right, on to the next one. All right, next up, Lantana. Lantana brings butterflies, you guys. It's amazing. There are many different varieties and, and color options for Lantana. They are a great plant to use in your landscape because they're drought tolerant, they have beautiful prolific flowering capabilities, and they also have a really nice scent. So that's a, an added bonus there. Now, it does have the ability to spread out fairly wide. So just be aware of what variety you're planting and check out the mature height and spread of that lantana and make sure to give it the space it needs to thrive and do well with surrounding plants. All right, to the next one. Next one we're gonna look at is Salvia Clevelandii. And that is this guy right here. This is a California native, very popular over here, and it has a wonderful scent, beautiful flower. It's gonna get to about five feet tall by about five feet wide. So you wanna make sure you give this adequate space to fill out and do its thing. The foliage has a very nice earthy scent to it and it's made even more pronounced after it rains. And you can really, really get that perfume in the air. It's just incredible. You do wanna deadhead the spent blooms and maybe once or twice a year, you'll have to do some selective pruning to keep the foliage coming back nice and neat. But ultimately, this is such a great plant for the landscape, super drought tolerant and will bring those beautiful butterflies into your landscape. All right, I'm gonna throw in a fourth plant just for good measure. All right, next plant, Ceanothus, commonly known as mountain lilac. California native, super drought tolerant, phenomenal plants for your landscape. There are so many benefits to Ceanothus. It's drought tolerant, pretty low maintenance, and of course, it's gonna attract those butterflies when it blooms. And there are so many different varieties of Ceanothus that range in height and width and varying color vibrancy in the blooms. It's just a really beautiful plant. And guys, these three plants that we're looking at today can be planted together and work nicely in combination with one another. They all have very similar watering requirements and climate needs. So this is a winning combo if you want to attract butterflies to your landscape. 
Now, there are a bunch of other plants that you can use that will also attract butterflies and other beneficial wildlife, like bees and hummingbirds. You can just bring them all to your garden and it will be so incredibly rewarding. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and chatting about plants. If you have not yet been to the website, go to budgetplants.com. If you're on YouTube, do that like and subscribe thing. Hit that bell notification so you know when a new video comes out. I will see you guys on the next one. And as always, happy planting.